Welcome friends to another episode of Roy's Review Blog and today we will be reviewing the Star City Plus 2017 BS4 Now the Star City has been there for quite a few some time and you can see, you must have seen that Narendra Singh Dhoni doing ads on television as he is the brand ambassador of this bike and this bike serves the job of commuting you from point A to point B without any hassle and provides a pretty good fuel economy. This is a 110 cc bike. Now, without further ado, let's get started. If we come in the front, there is a bright looking headlamp with a TPS 3D emblem, and there are clear lens turn indicators, and there is a blackened visor with some stylish graphics at the side. Now, if we come in the switchgear and the instrument cluster, the switchgear contains a pass light switch, the choke, the horn, the high beam and low beam flasher and a self start button and the instrument cluster contains the digital display contains the fuel level indicator the odometer and the analog display contains the speedometer and there are neutral indicators a service reminder pass light switch pass, i mean the pass light button there is also a, an economy and a power indicator the economy indicator indicates that whether you are ride, uh, riding at the right speed and at the right gear and the power indicator shows that if you are revving the bike hard, and it, it will consume more fuel. Now, if we come at the side panels, there is the, the tank, is a muscular tank with the TBS emblem, with some stylish graphics, and the side panel contains the Star City emblem, embedded in a 3D pattern, with some air scoops. And at the back, you will see there are also some exciting graphics with the PS4 badging. And the back of the bike, it also has clear lens turn indicators. And the backlight is quite, quite stylish. Now, if we come to the engine, it's a 109.7 cc engine with an advanced eco thrust technology fitted with the Mollicoat piston that ensures reduced friction with the cylinder and better combustion manages speed, weight, and fuel economy. The engine is a 109.7 cc eco thrust engine which produces a peak power of 8.4 PS at 7000 rpm and 8.7 Nm of torque at 5000 rpm which is made up to a 4 speed gearbox. The chassis is a single cradle tubular frame chassis and the suspension is the telescopic suspension in the front provides to adjustable hydraulic suspension at the rear. Braking duties are performed by 130mm drum brakes in the front and a 130mm drum brake at the rear. The tires used are 17 inch units with a 2.75 inch width tire in the front and 3 inch width tire at the rear. The, tri the, tire, uh, the rear tire has a tread pattern which is uh, an off road tread pattern which helps you when you are doing off roads. There is a stylish al aluminium grab rail and the seat is pretty long to, uh, to accommodate 2 or 3 adults. And this bike is come uh, the one variant only there are no disc brakes available you can see there there is an all black theme which is employed in the case of this bike which has become a regular norm these days and you shouldn't fill petrol up to the brim as it is indicated on the fuel tank now dimension wise the length of the bike is 1980 mm the breadth of the bike is 750 mm and the height of the bike is 100 1080 mm. The ground clearance is 172 mm, which is phenomenal, and the wheelbase is 1260 mm. The curb weight of this bike is 109 kg. The fuel tank is 12 liters, which is a 2 liter reserve. And it, though the company claims 86 kmpl, we will get around 65 to 70 kmpl if you ride at a speed within 40. And if you ride properly, we will get around 65 to 70 kmpl mileage. Now the bike is pretty good and it comes at a non-road price Kolkata of 61,670 rupees. You can see now let's hear the exhaust note. The exhaust note is uh, 
pretty commentary is trying to be exhausted as you can hear it. Now this is the red color variant which looks equally stunning. And if you like this video please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.